Hey there, Gavin Gu here from Ultimate Reloader for Frankfurt Arsenal. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to inspect and store your ammunition after reloading. Let's start with what we're gonna store our loaded ammunition in. Bunch of great options, including plastic ammunition boxes. We've got bulk styrofoam trays with cardboard boxes. You can even use factory ammunition boxes from your previously fired factory ammo. Before we box up the ammunition that's just come off the press, we wanna do a thorough job inspecting it. And the first thing I usually take a look at is the presence of a primer and primer seating depth. It is possible to skip a primer with your priming system and you're gonna to wanna to catch that obviously straight away. But you also wanna make sure that it's completely seated. And a quick visual check for that is to set the case rim on a perfectly flat surface and to look for wobble. You can see here we've got good stability, but if I take a 223 cartridge that I've loaded with an improperly seated primer, we're gonna see some wobble there. Straight away, we know that we've got an issue there. We're gonna to wanna to scrap it. Why? Because if we were to attempt to seat the primer and the primer went off with the powder charge and with the bullet intact, we'd have a big problem on our hands. Not worth the risk. Of course, we could take an impact puller or some similar device and pull that cartridge down and reuse the components as well. The next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is use a case gauge to make sure that we're sized properly. Case rim sits between two steps on this particular model and then we can also monitor our trim to length. We could check the cartridge overall length with a set of digital calipers. This is gonna tell us are we within the appropriate range for whatever cartridge we're loading and are we also where we wanna be for something like precision rifle for the particular load that we've worked up. More on that later in the series. Finally, we're gonna to wanna to take a look at the outside of the case. We've already inspected the cases when we've cleaned them, but this is another final check, looking for obvious dents, splits, anything like that. When it's passed all the checks, we can then put it in the ammo box. When you've got boxes of ammunition loaded, it's time to label them and to update your records. The simplest way to label your boxes is to write right on the box with something like a Sharpie. You can also use blue painter's tape and use something like a Sharpie on that. If I'm loading ammunition for a match or bulk ammunition that I'm gonna keep on hand and refer to, I'll laser print labels and use packing tape. Make sure to put all the appropriate details on your sheet. Cartridge, bullet weight and bullet type, powder type, powder charge, cartridge over a length, primer type, date loaded, things like that. Now it's time to think about how and where to store your loaded ammunition. If you can, find a climate controlled area that's dark, dry, and cool, like a basement would be a perfect place to store your loaded ammunition. You can put your boxes of loaded ammo into boxes or crates. I prefer a system of shelving that's organized by bullet diameter and then by cartridge within each bullet diameter. Once you've stored your ammunition, you can step back and take a look at the fruits of your labor. To watch the rest of the series, including pistol loading and rifle loading, go to frankfurtarsenal.com arsenal. Thanks for watching.